Welcome back to the Logic Tutor. If you are yet to subscribe, please click on the subscribe button and also on the bell beside it. That will notify you when we drop our practical video. This video is one of our teacher series and here we're going to talk about the practical and the practical seems to talk about the laboratory preparation of oxygen. Here we have the materials we're going to use. Let me first of all introduce everything and how it is done to you. Then we now look at the practical way of doing it. And moreover, one of my guys just thought of remind me of how to do this experiment. And I was like, let me bring it to you, my beautiful subscribers. So now let's look at the materials available. We can easily get them. We in our vicinity, we have hydrogen peroxide. You can get a 6% volume to volume in any pharmacy store. Then we have the manganese oxide, rather. Don't panic, your manganese oxide can be gotten from your cell. When the practical starts, you see where we get our manganese oxide. Then we have a wooden splint, we have a soft bottle, then we have matches or lighter. This is simply the equation of the reaction. We are meant to produce oxygen. And at the same time, we are going to test for the gas. Probably it is oxygen or not. And how is the experiment performed? The first thing we need to do is we get the manganese oxide from our battery of which I'm going to show you the practical view now. Then thereafter, we put that into the soft bottle. Then we have to crush the bottle. When we crush the bottle, then we had our hydrogen peroxide. Then the reaction starts. Actually, manganese oxide is not being used up in the, at the end of the reaction. It happens to be a catalyst. The speed of the reaction normally you know this hydrogen peroxide is unstable so this helps the decomposition of hydrogen peroxide to water and oxygen gas so then we see how the process occurs and how to test for oxygen gas using the wooden splint and we see we learn okay let's go to the practical view and see how we're going to perform the experiment um, how the experiment is going to be we are going to get our manganese for oxide and in the surprise this is where we're going to get it from. I've said we are going to get the manganese oxide from here and this is our hydrogen peroxide so we'll see how the oxygen ga gas is being produced and I'm using these as a wooden splint so wait a little light off to show you how to get the manganese oxide so I'm going to get that in the petri dish so let me get the petri dish so I'll get the manganese oxide in the petri dish and that is what we are using. Okay, so this is how it started. Look at this. I'm feeling this now. And that is how and where we get a manganese oxide. Okay. With a minute. All right, I have to punch on this. As you can see, that is the manganese oxide. Actually, you need to do this with an hand glove with a great care because this content is poisonous. Okay. I think we have gotten enough that we can use. So I think this is enough. So and that is the manganese oxide. So how am I going to make use of it? Now, we keep this. Then this is the manganese oxide we are in set of. So then I'll put that into this bottle, this soft bottle that I have here to get 
So when I put that, I'm going to use the petfish dish and um, the spatula to put it in. And I have this. See this? I'm putting it in. I'm putting it in. Now that I place this now, so that is the marriage of Zaiki is. That is the manganese oxide being added to the bottle. Then the next thing is for me to cross the bottle. I need to cross the bottle. So now I have crossed the bottle. So after crossing the bottle, I will add my iodine peroxide. Then once added, you see the popping up of gas. Then what next? I think I need. If I close the container, you see the gas coming out right there. Good, that is oxygen gas. That's great. That is oxygen gas actually. Now, if I'm to test for that gas, I'm going to introduce a glowing splint. And how do I have the glowing splint? I cannot light up the match around this gas. So what do I do? Let me make Now look at this. Then if I introduce closer to the gas You discover that the glowing splint will rekindle. Okay, let us add more hydrogen peroxide to see the response. You see? You see, it's rekindled. That shows the presence of oxygen gas. Now we can also try that one more time to really see what we're talking about. You see this? When I introduce, you see? So that shows the gas supports combustion, and that is oxygen gas. So we have proved that the gas supports combustion and it is oxygen gas and that is a typical test for oxygen gas. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel. It's free. Thank you.